I'm Shelly Turner with the BuilderAll team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your leads inside of Mailing Boss. So I'm going to go to Mailing Boss, and then I'll click to go inside of Mailing Boss. And the first area where you can see all your subscribers is if you click the subscriber item on the menu at the top. And here we've got two subscribers, and each one has information, including how many lists they're on, what their lead score is, and we have an icon we can click to show us an overview of that subscriber. So if I click that overview, it shows me that information again. It gives me a lead score, the number of lists it's on, how many campaigns they've gotten, how many campaigns they've opened, and how many times they've clicked a link inside of an email. Then I have other areas including how many lists they're on and if they have any tags, uh, what their latest opens were, and what their latest clicks were. So that's information on each subscriber. Let's go back to the dashboard and we'll take a look at our email lists. And this list has two subscribers on it. So let's take a look at the subscribers in that list. So I'm going to click the subscriber button and I can see the two individuals that are subscribed. And in here I can click on them and do a bulk action. And that bulk action can be uh, change their status to subscribe, unsubscribe, I can copy them, move them, I can disable them, or even delete them. In this situation, this person is unconfirmed. If I want to change them to confirmed, all I need to do is click the update button. And on the status, I can click the down arrow and choose confirmed, and then save. And now that person is confirmed. I can go back to that list and go to subscribers again. And these icons here, I can choose to look at an overview of each subscriber. I can click to see what campaigns have been sent to this subscriber. I can update, including changing the status and adding tags. I can unsubscribe this individual. I can disable the subscriber. And I can delete the subscriber. Each subscriber has a unique ID that's listed right here. If I click on it, then it takes me to the update area for that subscriber. Also from this same screen, I can click create new and put a new subscriber in there. Or I can do a bulk action if I click on this. And on this bulk action, I can upload a file or I can add text here. And then I can choose whether I want to subscribe from this bulk file, copy, move, disable, or delete and then I can click Submit to do that bulk action. So those are some ways that you can manage your subscribers inside of a subscriber list in Mailing Boss.